Scott Morgan here from Michigan Sports Radio. Joining me is uh, Coach Pete Van Kempen from the Coopersville Varsity. Coach, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Scott. How are you? Good. i got a couple of your players here um, for the boys varsity team. We'll let them introduce themselves. Go ahead. I'm Mason Thomasma. Uh, I'm Eli Spencer. We'll start with you, uh, Mason. Uh, what, what year are you? I'm a junior. How many years have you been on the varsity team? Uh, this is my first. First year. Mm -hmm. What position do you play? Uh, I'm a guard. Guard. Mm -hmm. How about you, Eli? I'm a sophomore, and uh, yeah, I play guard. Run the wing. Okay. Mason, I, I, I talked to a lot of different players, and number five, does it have any meaning, you know, special meaning to you? Uh, not this year. Number five does not have any special meaning to me. Okay. Eli, I see you wear number three. Does that have any special meaning? I mean, not necessarily, but I've always had number three from a young age, so I, I try to get number three. You're trying to keep it? You're, you've got a, something going on, so you want to stay with that tradition then. Exactly. Okay, all right. Um, Friday night, you've got Unity Christian coming in. Is there any pregame ritual or anything like that that you, uh, to get ready for and, you know, to play the game Friday night? Uh, I don't have any pregame rituals, just staying focused, I guess. How do you stay focused? Uh, just kind of just off of my own mind. Okay. Eli, how about you? Yeah, so I have a couple pregame pre -game rituals, but uh, my favorite one is me and Luke Sanford. We listen to we listen to music at the same time together so we can sing it together. It's probably my favorite pregame pre -game ritual. Okay, nice. What's your favorite music then? If you're, you know, what what's your favorite song to sing together? So we we listen to this song called "Who I, Who Who Wants Smoke" by uh, Nardo Wick. Yeah, it's our favorite. Sorry, I don't know who Nardo <laughs> Wick is. <laughs> what what genre is does it does he follow? Hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. That's, how about you, Mason? Uh, I like hip hop. No, oh, that's about it. Country. I like a lot of genres of music. Okay, so you. You I'm just hit over. the seat, so you're all over. Yeah, yeah. All over. okay. Um, who's throughout your career in playing basketball? Who's inspired you the most to uh, play? Pro uh, probably my dad. Uh, he's always been there and pushed me. Yeah? yeah, and and my mom too. They both have just always pushed me to my to do my best. Do your best, uh, Eli. How about you? Who's yeah, it's, it's it's definitely got to be my dad. Uh, He's always opening the gym for me, let me get in, get some shots up, always pushing me, giving me tips on what I can do better, how I can get better, how I can get to where I want to be. So definitely my dad. Okay. Uh, outside of basketball, what other hobbies do you have, Eli? Um, I like hanging out with my friends a lot. We, uh, yeah. we watch football together, basketball, so definitely hanging out with my friends. How about you, Mason? Any... Uh, uh, Hunting, fishing, anything like that you do, you know, just to get, you know, just to relax? I do like to fish. I do that quite a bit in the summer sometimes. And then hanging out with my friends a lot, doing that, watching football, basketball, a lot of sports. Your favorite sports movie or just movie? It's got to be Remember the Titans. <laughs> Eli For shaking his well. head yes to Remember the Titans. Oh, yeah, that, is, that is a good movie. Um, we talked about your favorite music, so now we got the tougher question. Who's the best dancer on the team? I got to go with Eli Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Eli's pointing to himself, coach. 100% <laughs> me. I've heard that a lot. <laughs> we, yes, we have, haven't we? We've been keeping track uh, as we've been uh, talking to everybody, and so far, yeah, your name's been kind of riding up there at the top that uh, you're the you know, best dancer, so yep. that's nice to see. Uh, both of you, uh, as a junior and a sophomore, um, future plans. Have you thought anything yet, or are you still just kind of waiting? And it's too far away to kind of think about that yet. Yeah, I'm still kind of just pushing it off. I don't really know yet. <laughs> um, Mason, for some a young, you know, middle school or, you know, fifth grade, sixth grade, you know, player comes up to you and says, Mason, what do I need to do in order to be successful at the varsity level? Uh, just, what would you tell them? Just work, outwork everybody, practice at home, do all the stuff by yourself, get shots, and all the dribbling, like moves by yourself, just practice a lot. Practice a lot. Eli, how about you? What, what would you, you know, give advice to these young players? Yeah, just get shots up in your driveway. Uh, 
set some cones up in the driveway, get some dribbling in, just work every day, every time you can, get your friends together, work out with them. One on one is also a very good drill that that I think gets you gets you better. So yeah, just hoop as much as you can. Okay. Um so far right now yeah, in your limited you know career what's been your most favorite memory so far in coopersville uh probably just all the sports teams i've been on yeah so, mm -hmm. i've had a lot of fun eli how about you my favorite memory is probably our team meals together i love team meals <laughs> if it's b dubs if it's at whoever's house i just i love team meal as we talked with Rogan, and he said that he likes team meals too. He likes, <laughs> as the coach get the test, he likes to eat a lot, but he says <laughs> that's why he likes team meals. <laughs> but uh, no, um, do you play any other sports? Uh, uh, yeah, I play tennis. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, anything in the spring? Do you do track or baseball? Uh, I or don't. Like I that? usually do play baseball, be, but uh, sticking with just the two and sticking with basketball and tennis. Tennis. Yep. Mason, how about you? And then I also play tennis with them, and then this year I'm, I think I'm gonna play golf, but I used to play baseball. Okay, golf. Mm -hmm. Played often. Uh, I actually was just working on my swing right now. Before I came here. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, what do you shoot? Uh, right now, I'm a little inconsistent, like low fifties, high forties. So yeah, keep working on your swing, and uh, we'll. Uh, Get that down into the low 30s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, Coach? Sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> As yeah, you know, <laughs> from coaching girls golf. <laughs> yeah. And playing. And playing. Yeah, same here. <laughs> um, let's talk about uh, biggest rivalry. Who uh, do you consider biggest rivalry? I think I would have to go with Allendale probably. Okay. Eli? Yeah, it's got to be either Islandale or Spring Lake. I personally hate Spring Lake, so. <laughs> there's, a... there, there is that dry, that line there that some people just don't like this school, and it's, and it's okay, you know. That's what you have for um, Allendale. Let's talk a little bit about that last night. Get your thoughts. Now you're both are shaking your head, and uh, so let's you know, you know, put you on a spot a little bit here, and and you know, go through. The game. Yeah, they just outworked us. We did not have any any energy at all. Couldn't really get anything to fall. Nothing going at all. Just They just outworked us and played harder. Yeah, I, I think we just, we weren't playing our game and we were worried about the refs more than what we should be worried about is ourselves. So we just didn't play our game. I'm putting you in the coach's position. What would you tell your team about last night's game? and how to improve it. What would you say to them? Oh, man. Um, That's Mason Thomas right there. <laughs> what would you tell him? Um, uh, just, I don't even know. We just got to come back harder in practices and just, I guess, kind of forget about it a little bit and just move on from it. And just, I don't know, work hard, mm -hmm. extra hard. Okay. Eli, what would you tell them? What yeah. would you tell Eli Spencer right there about <laughs> last night's game? I think I think I would say I think I would start off with saying it's unacceptable. You know, we can't we can't come out and play so flat. And then I would say we gotta flush it. We gotta worry about the next game. I mean, obviously it didn't go well. We just gotta worry about the next game, keep working. And that's true. Uh, you know, and I won't speak for Coach Van Kempen, but um what you guys both have said is is true, and you know, like I say, we've got Unity Christian coming up here Friday night. What are we going to need to do now to be successful against them? I mean, they're coming in here riding high. What are we going to do to knock and get the win? Oh, we're just going to outwork them. Just no second chance rebounds, second chance points. We've got to out rebound them, push the ball. Get easy buckets in transi transition. Just play fast in our game. You like? Yeah, we just got to come out with a bunch of energy, a bunch of intensity. We got to want every 50-50 ball. We just, yeah, we just got to play our game. 
All right. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you taking the time out here and busy uh, Tuesday or Wednesday night as you guys have practice right at this. So I thank you for taking out the time. Um, wish you the best of luck Friday night. We'll be there cheering you guys on from above and seeing if what you two said, we'll talk about it next week. I appreciate see, it. See if it came true. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>